Today, we are riding through the very short distance of 3.5 km in Hong Kong during the peak hour with over 100 metal boxes vehicles shooting past me in a matter of 12 minutes. At the spare time, I'm going to show you the two things that I'm sitting on my handlebar, which may be useful to you as well. Let's get started. So there's a short distance of 3.5 km between my stay in Hong Kong and to one of my working spots in Mong Kok. Riding in Hong Kong during the peak hour on the road is fun, it's busy, it's vibrant, it's certainly heart pumping. Let me start a magical vehicle counter for you. Chances are you will meet, yes I said meet, more two-ton square boxes than anywhere in the world. Anyway, I think the video is rather slow. Let me speed up to 200% just to make it feel like I'm riding a little bit faster. It seems like we're gonna get some traffic lights here. I'm gonna use the next couple of traffic lights to show you the two things that's sitting on my handlebar here. Whoa, oh man, there must have been less than like 80 centimeters between the two cars for me to ride here. Super dangerous. I'm sure this car saw me coming. I don't know what he's thinking, why he popped up from the junction. I had to pull a full brake on this just to stop myself from crashing into it. Damn dangerous. Anyway, are you guys enjoying this kind of riding on the road video? If you are, please let me down in the comment below. I will try and make more of it. Yes, traffic stop. Let me show you this feedback by Skin Grows Back from Melbourne, Australia. I have been using this Kawaii colorway feedback on my Brompton for a while now. It's been called a feedback because when it was first designed, it was supposed to be used on the touring bike to hold their food supplies on their longer rides. However, many Brompton riders has converted them as a water bottle holder. I'm telling you, it actually solved the water bottle problem. Aside from the water bottle, there are spaces for the phone and the house key for a quick light ride as well.
another red light. There isn't much to be said about this 3D printed head unit from a Garmin cycling computer and the GoPro camera mount. It is an all-in-one solution, yet it is easy to slot on and dismount it anyway. Thumbs up to Jason for making this 3D printed unit locally in Singapore. And here comes to the end of the video where I conclude my ride and reach my workplace. I hope you enjoy every minute of it. Riding in Hong Kong, it's just so much fun. Anyway, you can check out this video here if you'd like to watch more of my content. Otherwise, i see you on the next one. Dash!